That audio on the countdown when you watch it is so loud. Is it? Compared to the whole rest of the show that's not very loud. Yeah. And welcome back to another Yo. week of yeah. Tampa Fishing Outfitters Live Fishing Report. You know it. We're here. We're live. We got, got some guests today. Got some good guests yeah. in the uh, studio tonight. We're going to be good. talking fishing. That's right. That's right. right Thanks for having us. Yeah, so uh, yeah, in absolutely. the house we've got Inshore Society, which these guys yeah. run up by me, Rick. They're not. Yeah, yeah. y'all stay up South here. Shore, they're up here with the Gandy with me. Um, yeah, fishing's bad where I'm at. Y'all don't need to be. <laughs> uh, well, we've got uh, Christian um, with Inshore Society and Kenneth. Um, so why don't you guys tell us a little bit about, you know, how long you've been doing this? Where do you run out of? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, what do you like to do? Uh, well, basically, me, me and Kenny, you know, we went to high school together and we fished, uh, you know, we were younger. And uh, about four years ago, we were fishing and, you know, made some connections with other captains. Uh -huh. Just kind of, you know, that's how we were kind of introduced into the captain world. Um, so do you regret it? Uh, no, I, I, <laughs> well, no, not yet. <laughs> I mean, it honestly, was the one one yeah. thing that you know, like most our wives are, you know, both our wives are supportive, but like it was one way to just yeah. let us fish all the time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. You know? Oh yeah, we we're like, honey, look, we could make some money and we could fish. It was like, all right, cool. Right. <laughs> That's but, cool, man. Uh, yeah. For the most part, yeah, we fish, you know, Middle Bay, Upper Tampa Bay kind of area. Cool. For most of the year, so. Yeah, I see you guys out there a lot. It's, it's kind of hard to miss those boats yeah. with the wrap. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool. And so how long have you been doing it now? Uh, going on four years. Four years now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good deal, man. Yeah. So So it. I'm the newbie at the table now again. You're the newbie. All right. Good deal. I can live with it. You're the newbie. Um, so, you know, you guys are up by Gandy, up by me. Um, I know we have a lot of representation usually on the show for the South Shore, Cockroach, Joe's, uh, Little Harbor area. Why don't we lead things off? Why don't you guys give us kind of a report about what's going on? up in that upper bay uh area where you guys like to fish sure mm -hmm. definitely uh we can start with like a bait report um bait's been pretty healthy all over the flats for us at least in our area i know a lot of the south shore guys have been mm -hmm. saying it's been stirring up on the bridges now mm -hmm. by skyway and but for the most part it's still yeah. all over the flats for us uh, yeah good cold front kind of came through there a couple of days it kind of the day after it, mm -hmm. kinda, it was a little difficult to get but they kind of acclimated already mm -hmm. yeah. are you still catching like a variety of baits yeah, all yeah. together. This morning there was there was actually a lot of uh, fry bait out on the flat this yeah. morning. Really, but there was you know decent baits that so it was kind of yeah. I had to work for it this yeah. morning, um, but ended up getting enough bait to fish. But you can see, you know, which is kind of weird how right now with those cold friends it's starting to you can almost feel like oh wow yeah. you know you Time. could tell from two three weeks ago that the bait has definitely changed on the flat. Yeah, Good. yeah, so. Seems like it's quick. Seems like it's quick up there. Like it's like a couple of weeks it goes from one end of the spectrum all the way to the other. Um, Ty's telling us we got to turn. Yeah, we're Kenny's operating on a backup like, mic. Yeah, I'm on a backup mic. And can y'all hear me a little better now? I'll just hold it up a little closer. Give us some feedback, Ty. Yeah. Let us know if you can hear him a little bit better. I, think I appreciate it's the, it. I think it's the beard. <laughs> I, just, that yeah. I just need to put on my man. You know, wrap it around your head and just let it hang down. Some beard if you interference. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, well, good. So the bait's been looking good up there. Yeah. What about the fishing? Uh, it's been it's Oof, been, good, been on yeah? fire. I can't complain. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, the trout has actually been really good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, not any monsters, but they're averaging you know fourteen <laughs> inches, seventeen inches. Numbers yeah. wise? Uh, yeah, as far as size. Uh -huh. But like today, I had a trip and we easily caught like twenty five to thirty trout. Nice. You know, and really looking forward to that water cooling. Yeah, down, yeah, oh, yeah. Bigger ones showing up. But, Water's uh, clearing up. Yeah, That's I even noticed that after the last cold front up there, it's like some of the areas, you know, that I like to fish, which are really far north, mm -hmm. even turn from that dark iced tea color yeah, that you yeah. can only see a couple feet in yeah. to clear, still yeah. tannic, but clear. So the temperature is only going to help. As much of that rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, exactly. Yeah. Definitely helping with that. So. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to circle back. I know we want to talk about kind of tonight's episode, talking about the cold front that's on the horizon, how that's going to impact it, but... In fairness, let's get a South Shore report, man. You said you fished today, right? Fish yesterday. yesterday. Okay. I did, no, I did boat lift maintenance today, but mm -hmm. uh, no. Yesterday it was. Uh, I was t telling these guys I had a real challenging group, and I'm not going <laughs> to get into that. Right. Uh, you know, I almost wish they hadn't have been really good people. 
Right. Because then I could have kind of got frustrated. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard to get frustrated yeah. when they're yeah. so, I mean, so yeah. challenging, fishing challenge. Yeah. I mean, just no, not a clue. Yeah. I mean, just not of a clue. Of course. But anyway, but uh, but they, they, they were really good people, so. Mm-hmm. It was. It was. Uh, couldn't get frustrated about that. But uh, the bite, you know, can't really go on yesterday's bite because, I, I, you know, I don't really, I don't really know if I'd have had different people on the boat, how much better it could have been. Yeah. We we did. We caught reds. We caught snook. We caught trout, and that's really all we were after. Uh, caught a really super nice puffer fish that seemed to, <laughs> that seemed to steal the show. I mean, yeah. it really yeah. did. It Sometimes they do, you know. It was like a those people that aren't so like yes. into it. Yeah. Some of the yeah. weirdest fish they just yeah. amazed by. Yeah. yeah, it's like you just caught a forty inch snook and you're excited about that yeah well the dolphin yeah. yeah no not the dolphin yeah. we don't oh boy but sometimes you're praying for those <laughs> dolphins <laughs> let, me get, yeah. let me run by yeah. a school of dolphins real quick <laughs> yeah. and really turn this trip on its head <laughs> yeah but uh it, it was i mean it was it was a good day on the water the they got what they wanted they yeah. had a good time i if i was fishing i would have thought man this was probably not a the day that, that makes me happy but you know we caught probably 25 30 fish uh bait bait was was real easy mm-hmm. nice. uh mixed bag you know like you guys was talking yeah. about real mixed bag you know you, you you get some pork chops in there with the little ones and yeah. i've been doing a lot of fishing here lately with the pen fish yeah. and uh so i was able to to get enough of those to fish but I mean, it's just kind of normal mm-hmm. i'm like you guys kind of want this w- <clears throat> water temp to drop another four or five degrees mm-hmm. once it gets down around 70 yeah. 70, 73, you know, March there, I think it's, today. yeah, the did you, thing in the it started in the, the morning, water, yeah, yep. yeah, it's gonna, things are gonna fire off good, mm-hmm. and, uh, but anyway, yeah, it's, uh, not, not really a whole lot different than last week. Cool, so still primarily getting bait on the flats. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good, good yeah, deal. Yeah, because yeah, I gotta join you down there Friday. I, I told you, yeah. Friday, just follow me, we'll All go right. get bait. Cool. <laughs> you were saying Make it happen. Uh, you yeah, so, I mean, this is usually that time of year yeah. when you start to get a little temperature, t- like when it goes from being really hot to just starting to drop off. Yeah. That's usually when it's like bridge gold, you know, like yeah. the bait is golden. Yeah. And um, sometimes what bridge, even, are you, what bridge are you talking about? I'm talking about the Skyway. I don't think it's any secret, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You're running yeah. all the way from up there to oh, the Oh, no, Skyway? no, no, no. I had to run down there last week. I'm sorry. So oh, I had a okay. trip out of there last well, week. No, um, I know the Skyway's no yeah. secret, but I'm thinking... <laughs> So well, you're putting well, that yeah. secret bridge. Are you you're, talking yeah. about? Yeah, no. Well, I thought he might be talking about <laughs> yeah. the Gandhi, but I mean, dude, if you're putting no. it at the Gandhi and you're running to the no, highway, no. I can no. show you an easier no. way. Yeah, please. No, <laughs> that was for easier. something I had to do yeah. at a Cockroach okay. last All week, right. and um, All right. you know, I went down there and I looked at it, and I was like, man, I should probably throw my quarter inch net, even though it looked good. I just wasn't in a position time wise to have a net fully wrecked. Mm-hmm. So I was like, let me throw a quarter inch net, and then I realized I only had my flats quarter inch yeah. net. And then I looked at it, and I said, well, that bait. So much of it in in the first six inches yeah. of the water column. I mean, we threw one time and could barely get in the boat. Oh, um, and it was Did solid you bait. A little bit or you just no, it, it was a yeah. hit yeah. the water, haul it, uh-huh. and get it in the boat, and yeah. still dumped half of it back nice. with a quarter inch in the shallow water. So nice. it's definitely there. It's definitely going to be there for yeah. a while. That's an option. But what um, what's difficult with the Skyway around this time of year and with these fronts that we have on top of each other is the wind. Mm-hmm. And the conditions you've got to fight to either get there, yeah. or once you get there to catch the bait in those conditions, yeah. it's throwing, not easy. Throwing on those towers, yeah. and even, bridges with the tide ripping. Exactly. Even at the Howard Franklin, or mm-hmm. even at the you know Gandy. Yeah, any of the three bridges are there. Yeah. yeah. So that's usually the tricky part. Is the nice thing about the flats is there's you, you can usually get to it easier. Sometimes um, it's more throws. It's safer for it's, for you. Exactly. It's a lot easier. When yeah. You're yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Always nice when you can have someone with you. Yeah. They go, you know, run the motor for you because yeah. if you fall in, who's, you know, you're, exactly. you're done. Yeah. And I have heard stories of guys who have done that accidentally. Sketchy you know? situations, you know, lose a couple nets, you know, pulling you. And yeah. The current goes I've been back, in it. So you just gotta be I've been in it. There. I remember when I first started guiding, I signed up for a, uh, or I was hired for a charity event. And I, this is like, you know, super gung, I'm still gung ho, but super gung ho at the time, like, I mean, this was like inside of my first 10 trips. I forget yeah. which one it was. And it was out of the Magnuson. And I was like, oh, well, the Skyway's right there. I'll get bait. I'm watching the forecast, you know, days leading up to it. I'm looking at it, and every day it's getting worse and worse. Mm-hmm. You know, 10 to 15 knots, 15 to 20. And every day I'm thinking like, well, what's that point? I know I'm not going to be able to go get yeah. bait at the Skyway by myself. Well, that was definitely not the day to do it because when I got there, I was the only boat. 
Oh, wow. And it was, when I say nasty, I hadn't been there anything nasty. I was like, I'm not even going to attempt to throw this. Yeah. And then out from the depths comes the bait boat, you know, the <laughs> skiff, 24-foot skiff, <laughs> bouncing it's over. Cool. If he can do it, and I can I'm do like, it. And he gave me that re he gave me that recharge, and they're in a two person deal. Yeah. First time I watched him throw the net, I almost watched him go right off the front of the boat. I was like, okay, never mind. <laughs> and so I hollered, I'm like, y'all got any bait? And <laughs> they did, and I was able to get oh, enough to man. run a trip. But yeah. pretty humbling experience, yeah. you know, to have to buy bait so early on yeah. into that, it. But that reminded of a trip me and him did. But luckily we were together that day. But there was like six footers up by the Gulf. Pier. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, Fort DeSoto. Forget and it. I was like, dude, I don't Man, know those, about this. Those yeah. are rollers. Yeah, like, yeah. And I was that'll like, dude, get I'll... your whole boat like yeah. into that <laughs> downward mm -hmm. position. You're like, what am I doing I here? I didn't know the you. captain, but he rolled up hot. And Mm -hmm. He just rodeoed that thing. I saw he yeah. must have had like a sea keeper oh, or something man. in that twenty-five foot boat because it was just like standing, like yeah. it was I not rolling it. anywhere. Him and got out of there. I was like, we gotta get that. <laughs> yeah, gotta, <laughs> get, that gotta get that bait. <laughs> yeah, that's that's always worse yeah. when you see somebody nail it and you're like, yeah, after like, you've thrown a few times and haven't come up with anything. We just need one throw. That's all. We yeah, need. no. We once we got it, it was like, okay, we're done. Yeah, yeah had we to had throw. to throw some yeah. away. Yeah. But, um, you know, after that trip in, when I had to go down there to get bait, I mean, these guys covered the upper bay. I'll, I'll second what you're saying. The fishing down there is good. And I was really surprised with how the water was clearing up. It is and clearing this up was, big time. This yeah. was well after that front that swept through. I think it was Saturday last week. Um, so this was a few days after. And the water temperature was already right. back up where yeah. I've been seeing it. But um, every corner I turned, every place I threw a bait um, was – loaded with fish um and i think we're gonna have the same thing here soon yeah. that everything's just kind of get that signal starting to cool off yeah mm -hmm. and um it's time to make things happen they definitely they sense the five degree difference yeah, yeah absolutely you know um so kind of speaking you know we all kind of touched on the temperature change uh that we saw and we're about to see another one i think it's like saturday or sunday yeah we can expect some temperatures in the 60s and then okay. in the midweek i think it's in the 50s Oh, wow. uh, if I'm not mistaken, so that's what we need. Yeah. That yeah. might push us there. There's might, even a yeah. day. Uh, there's a day or two next week where I think the high for the day is 67 or 68. Wow. If anybody, if anybody out there knows that and wants to chime in, yeah. uh, feel free to do it. But we were watching it pretty closely in the shop earlier, just, yeah. just kind of checking on that. So, with a cold front like that being that it's earlier on in the season, um, does it change? You know how you approach your day or prepare for a trip. Um, do you expect it to change in the fishing? So I'm just going to tee it up and kind of go yeah, from there. Yeah. I mean, it definitely affects them. They feel that. Uh -huh. Sometimes, it, you know, they feel almost caught off guard, at least for me. you know. And it definitely stinks if you, like, have a, a trip that day or the day before that front and mm -hmm. then it happens and then you got to go out the next day without kind of a scout. Yeah. I know sometimes it can get a little challenging out there because, you know, the, the night they might be yeah. adjusting that day of so the bike can be really tough. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I mean, you just got to look, kind of look to see how it is going out there. At least. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, once once we know that, okay, hey, we got the cold front, it's going to be one that's going to last for a couple of days, mm -hmm. then you know that that's going to have a major impact on those fish. And, right. Uh, you know, then you go and you check your winter wintertime spots, yeah. you know, and if, if they're there, they're there. If I not, remember, then find them out on the flat. I remember that last <laughs> year because we had a pretty mild, like, going in the winter, but I remember it. one cold front hit us pretty hard, and you're kind of like, well, you start the day, well, I'm going to – begin fishing where i've been fishing mm -hmm. and if that doesn't work then i'm gonna go fishing where yeah i think i they should be fishing yeah. you know yeah. like if it was this temperature yeah but um i mean you've got a wealth of experience how I, do you typically yeah. play usually that? the early cool fronts mm -hmm. i i don't really change a whole lot yeah mm -hmm. because the water temperature is not gonna drop that dramatically exactly. so those and those fish know exactly. okay mm -hmm. this is the first this is the second front mm -hmm. they're not gonna do a whole lot yeah Later in the year, those cold fronts, once those fish are not into winter, but between these first ones we're getting and winter, those seem to be the ones, in my opinion, that, that move them a little more. And then once you get into winter, they're already where they're going to be. Sure. Then you're, look, then you're hoping you don't have such a high barometer and you can get yeah. the fish to eat. But usually the first couple cold fronts, the water temp don't seem to drop that much. And actually – the water temp is going to drop into a favorable water temp for us. So the to first, turn them the, on the, them? right? The yeah. first, the first couple cold fronts, the bait's not going nowhere. Mm -hmm. the, the The temperature is going to be comfortable for them. So I just business as usual, yeah. right. you know. And I'm and that's kind of what I'm hoping this weekend. It's the, the water's going to get down. If it gets to seventy, fantastic. Mm -hmm. The bait's yeah. still going to be there, and so the fish the aren't rain, moving. Yeah. yeah, you know they're they're so. You start getting into that second, third or third, fourth cold front, those fish are going to start their migration. 
the bait's going to start leaking off the flats because now you're going from you know 70 to 64 or 65 instead yeah. of 78 yeah. to 72 yeah. 78 to 72 that's man. like spring give that's me that like, all day long that's right like, that's like good spring. to great so yeah. it 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 depends on when in the season the cold front is for mm -hmm. me and i i love fishing pre fronts i don't uh, nobody likes fishing post fronts post front, you know yeah. you get the barometer yeah, you know these people out last week, they're like, man, this is the most beautiful day I've ever oh seen. There ain't yeah. a cloud in the sky. Yep. Yeah. We and had that uh, same conversation just the other day yeah. where we were talking about, like, you know, those are the most challenging days because somebody who doesn't understand that, that concept or that dynamic comes and gets on your boat. Man, yeah. this is the this is why I came to Florida yeah. for you know yeah. It's yeah. seventy degrees yeah. and a cloud in the sky. Yeah. It's nice and uh, and I'm like, oh man. And yeah, me you too. Do, you know you don't have that. There's no excuse there. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful day, and they're never right. gonna understand that. No, it's it's gonna be tough. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's interesting you said that. Now I remember last year, um, the reason I said the cold front was kind of sudden. I remember a lot of the talk that was happening because, um, you know, whenever we get cold fronts, and these are obviously way down the road from this cold front that we're talking about next week but later in the season um i remember that a hard cold front came in and there was a lot of people that were worried about the location of the of the snook population mm -hmm. in terms of where, where they, they were right and where they really should have been by that yeah. late in the season and to have such sweeping temps come through yeah um so that's that just always re uh, remember last year it was, kind of, it was a weird winter we we almost got kind of it, it got warm too quick mm -hmm. i think february it was warming up like the yeah. fish were almost back in yeah. spring mode yep. and then march came around we had like two weeks of cold fronts and then mm -hmm. oh it's still yeah. still yeah. bad i was mm -hmm. just watching it i'm just yeah. gonna mm -hmm. i'm gonna tape it here right on the beard yeah. just have it hang there will it clip here. will it stay we'll in the beard if it clips no you're good man we'll, we'll ride it out <laughs> we'll ride you're it good. out y'all can hear me good long <laughs> i just gotta hold it and look weird on camera it's cool <laughs> but, I'm but yeah it got it got you know it was it got a little bit warm in february and then march came around the first two weeks it got really cold again yeah. so it threw them off you know i think yeah. but you know it could be just is yeah you know what i find uh facebook pretty funny sometimes <laughs> it'll remind me of photos that i posted oh, yeah. the year Absolutely. before and i was looking at already you know november whatever a couple weeks ago and right off the back i knew okay wow i was fishing over there last year yep. at this time mm -hmm. well you know it was an early yeah. early winter Yep. I've learned to do that all the time. Go back, yeah. look at Instagram, go back, look at Facebook. It's almost like a lazy man's uh, fishing, 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 fishing log. Yeah, um, so that's pretty funny. But, yeah, I, I think that what we'll see is I, you've already noticed the trout bite to get better. Yeah. I really don't spend a lot of time targeting the trout prior to these first sets of fronts. Mm -hmm. I will if needed. I will in their slam tournaments that we get picked up for uh, to do a lot. But as a targeted species on a charter, I don't spend a lot of time doing that until we get to that point. So I know that when I start seeing water cool down, water clear up, you know, all those deeper grass flats, those good, healthy grass, yep. sandy potholes, that's usually when it triggers me. And I think this next one will do it for me to say, mm -hmm. now you can start targeting some trout. Not just the trout, but the bigger ones yep. that like to get and lay on I those mean, edges. I mean, how I really love to do it is artificial. But you oh, know yeah. what, what we do, yeah. Yeah. it's, 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 it's yeah. all live bait, and especially when you get clients like maybe you had today, you're not even yeah. trying that or te no. attempting it. But, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, personally, like when I get uh, to go out it, and do That would have been yeah. impossible. Oh, they no. weren't doing their own Absolutely. casting. Absolutely. Absolutely you know, not. It's like, wow, it would have just been okay. Yeah. No way. You, get, you cast the last one, then you go get the first one. And just yeah. no, that wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, yeah I love the artificial man. You I did run a couple trips like yeah. that last winter when trout fishing yeah. was good. Uh, well, sometimes you get those guys that are like, "Hey, yeah. you ever use any artificial?" Yeah. I'm like, "Absolutely." <laughs> yeah. Here you go. All artificial. Just makes yeah. our job a little we easier. Do it all day. But, yeah, you I know. Trout all day. And Let me know if you want to go full day. I won't yeah. even catch bait. All right. <laughs> I like Matt. Bring on global warming. Right. Yeah. Sir, baby. That's our buddy Matt Clark. Yeah. Yep. Let, let those yeah. let those uh, winter let those. That guy's a little tarpon man. Maniac. Um, yeah. Yeah. He. Yeah, and he does oh, so he's it, not he, talking about ladyfish. No. <laughs> 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 yeah. He. Uh, he. He's obsessed with tarpon. Sorry yeah. if I'm. Nine in saying February. That, but, uh, that's pretty solid, dude. Yeah. He's. Uh, he's gonna. He does it all in like a little 17-inch Carolina, and he slays it. Slays. Wow. Slays it. Yeah. Well, good deal, man. Yeah, man. So. Good dude, Matt. <laughs> um, you know, another another benefit for me of these cooler temps is once the bait hits the well. Mm -hmm. You know, like I. There's nothing. I have not learned yet in the years of doing this to. You're a bait whore. I'm a bait 
in my live well. Uh, yeah. This guy too, man. Yeah. He's yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be with. We her. talk about <laughs> this all the time. We're always at the ramp talking yeah. about this. Kenny's like, I think bait. we're done. I don't know. No, 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 no. No. Four one more. more. <laughs> one more. I just know, man. I know every time I dump out dozens and dozens yeah, of baits. Yeah. So I'm just like, some days I'm like, yeah, I like to, to be black out, but most of the time I'm just like, I, I have I'm plenty of bait in there. I'm I, you. Yeah. I have plenty yeah. of bait in there. You know, why I do I need to throw it three more times for. I know Jason, he's usually on. He's with me on this. Like, got to have it blacked out. There's just something about leaving to go pick somebody up. And if I can see the bottom of my well, oh, yeah. I'm insecure. I like yeah. feel like, oh, yeah. I did something wrong. <laughs> but seriously, um, you know, the, the temperature inside that well, if you don't have a really good setup well, mm-hmm. I mean, you've been hurting this summer. You've yeah. been losing bait um, on certain days, losing tons. You know? I finally just, I, you know, I, I run with stock wells. I finally mm-hmm. got those uh, flow rights in my well. And, mm-hmm. man, world of difference the cool. past couple of weeks. So yeah. I've been loving it. Uh, real frisky baits. That's I've been doing the same wanting. thing, playing with it, and you know the biggest difference maker I had in the in the hot weather was the was the keep alive. I noticed a big change because it recirced water and threw oxygen in there for me. Um, but still, it's it's not the same as good clean cool water, high oxygen, yeah. natural. Yeah. Um, so even last week when we did um, when we ran the trip, I think I was catching bait with one of you guys that morning. Or we all did. Uh. It was right. It was, was the day after the cold frame. It was like yeah. Saturday or Sunday two weeks ago. Yep. Oh, and you were glad. Uh, we were marking the. It was the day after that. Yeah, Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. It was the day after that, and um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and actually, I have a funny story about that because I I'm pretty sure he's getting it from the same place I did <laughs> what last year. Had he bait die from being too cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even that morning when it was 79 degrees, the water that whole day I ran a double that day. Um, and never lost up. bait, and that was Sunday. Yeah. And it, the temps got up there, but uh, hey, kudos to Ken, man. I got his, I got his Facebook, couple Facebook posts to him and his, I'm a, his son out fishing. This oh yeah, weekend. got on some red. I think yeah. first red, right, Ken? Saw a bunch of snook. That, yeah. that was awesome. That was, that was had to be good times. Heck so it yeah. was just just him, yeah, him and the boy. So that's that's, that's awesome. That's, yeah, that's great. That's no, but ones. what Trey's talking about is, or at least I think I know that I was in communication with him a lot last year, like when bait got real tough. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I, and board, it did still wanted it right. Yeah. So I'm going. I'm pulling it up from deeper water. Yep. You know, we're down there. You know, I'm reading 59 or 60 on the surface, but you know, down there it's probably 63, 64. Mm-hmm. They're all bunched up on top of each other. It's like fishing a barrel, literally. Mm-hmm sink the net right over them. You can watch the net come down hmm. on the on the mm-hmm. fish finder yeah. and watch the fish go in it, pull it up, black it out, drive away, and by the time you get to the ramp, they're all dead, and you're like, what the heck? And you mm-hmm. stick your hand in there, and it's like ice cold. Wow. They couldn't deal with it. They can't hmm. deal with that surface temperature on hmm. those really, yeah. really cold days. Well, they probably could. Mm-hmm. It was just because it happened so fast. The shock, yeah, the shock. Yeah. Yeah. The shock of it. Yeah. Absolutely. Shock them, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, speaking, of, and I, w- I need to tell everybody, I don't think we told everybody where Travis and Jason are. Oh, yeah. yeah. They are in Louisiana getting ready for the championship this weekend. IFA and, championship. Uh, the IFA championship up there chasing Reds, both of them. Uh, I just saw that they had, had – Yeah, uh, they just logged on. And had logged in, and uh, good luck, guys. And I, I talked to Travis earlier. He said they're catching a whole lot of fish, but – the fish they're catching are too big. A little too big. So horrible a, problem to have. A terrible, yeah. terrible problem to have there, Travis. Such a frustrating feeling, you know, when you're doing those tournaments yeah. and you need a certain size and then you're just getting two big ones. It's, oh, like, yeah. it's like a love-hate, you know. Yeah. 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 Take them any day of the week yeah, except for on exactly. Friday. Exactly. It's frustrating. I've been there. But yeah, anyway. Good luck to we, those guys. Yeah, yeah we, definitely. We, hope they do well. We wish yeah, you guys the best. Rep- yeah, represent the Tampa area. While you guys are, are on here, man, if you can give us any reports throughout the week or definitely share any pictures on this page the Tampa Bay Live Fishing Report page, that'd be great because mm-hmm. I'm sure a lot of the audience would like to see what that place is all about. Absolutely. Very few have Absolutely. actually experienced it. No, I do. Yeah. Next week we'll get good reports. Oh, we, yeah. We'll have good stories. Yeah. And one of these years we're going to go out there and pre-fish with them. We are. That's right. One of these years we might be up there not pre- pre-fishing well, we for might, ourselves. We might. We've talked about there's it. There's a potential team – some merging oh, here. Got some so. brewing here. Got some brewing here. <laughs> Something's yeah. brewing. Yeah. Bro- a little bromance. Oh, yeah. What's yeah. up, James? What's <laughs> happening? What up, but, buddy? Uh, yeah, it'd be it'd be. Uh, yeah, so big shout out to those guys. We're definitely pulling for you. Yeah, good luck, you. man. I hope y'all um, y'all pulling for you equally. Up. You know, yeah. we're gonna need a tie for first or something. <laughs> some <laughs> kind of fish <laughs> off. What's the chances? Of that? <laughs> you never know. Hey, man. You never know. <laughs> I've seen them pretty close. I've seen somebody lose by like you know a, a hundredth of a decimal point. Wow. Like, um, I don't. I think that, yeah, the IFA still goes to two decimal points. No, it's not. <laughs> I've seen it. Stop it. Stop, Ken. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Well, good uh, deal, guys. So, hey, I know um, – so we've talked a lot about fishing. We mm-hmm. definitely want to get back to that. But uh, really coming up this weekend, we've got the uh, – we've shared it on the page. Um, but definitely mark your calendars. Ken, this would be right up your alley. Anybody with kids, you know, this would be a great place to go is the Alafia Marine uh, Kids Fishing Derby. Yeah. Um, which is going to be out of Simmons Park in Ruskin. Uh, we're doing that. So it's Saturday, October 27th. They're getting started at 9. It's going to run all the way to 4. You don't have to bring tackle. Correct? You don't have to bring, I don't think you have to bring tackle, and it is free for kids up to 13. Right. Um, so I think all that's going to be covered. Uh, usually we get some of the beagles watching. So if anybody's yeah. watching you want to confirm that, by all means do so. Um, but I think, you know, they're going to kind of huddle at 9, right. start fishing from about 10 to noon. Mm-hmm. Um, they've got a lunch from 12 to 1. And then I think after that they're going to do a meet and greet with some captains and also a little more fishing. So even if you can't get there all day, just kind of knowing if you can get there for the morning yeah, just fishing. Just drop in and see them. Um, have lunch or come in the afternoon because, yeah. you know, it's a weekend. Everyone's yeah. got do plans. Do, like, uh, do they go out with a captain? or do they No, fish? it's all going to be from shore. Sure. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool, man. Yeah. Simmons Park is a really Take good a place fishing, to host yeah. that type yeah. of event yeah. because of all the shore accessible fishing you can do in there. I mean, right. I used to do it a lot as a kid myself. Oh, yeah. uh, that was so, my spot was – Give me a couple dozen shrimp and a ginu, yeah. and I'll stick to Simmons Park. Yeah. Yeah. Even so when I was older and it was windy, that would be a that, place. Simmons yeah. Park used to be the oh, bomb. All you got to do yeah. is put the boat in and drive around the corner and get in those back yeah. canals, and yeah. you're in, you're I in good shape. When I first went there, kind of like just kind of gave me like that, almost like a Crystal River vibe, or yeah. you know, kind of leading up in there. You, it just oh, takes oh, you Florida Florida roads. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Florida it's field. by far the best park in Hillsborough yeah. County yeah. Yeah. for fishing. I mean, yeah. it's it's when I when I was growing up, so. You know, I'd say from about the time I was in eighth grade all the way to getting out of high school is either between myself or my buddy Brian Major. We either had a Ginu or a John boat. Yeah, all one of us get, did it all the time. Something. Yeah. So my dad would drive, a, or he'd have to drive to work, and he'd have to go south from Brandon down to the Skyway, and he'd slide us right in somewhere, and we'd pick all these different places. But, you know, when you're in that type of boat, you can't get out front, really. Mm-hmm. And generally, this was either paddle or trolling motor propelled. Mm-hmm. So we were at the mercy of the battery or <laughs> our, the strength of our arms, yeah. which wasn't a lot back then. So those back canals and Cockroach and in Simmons, Ideal. you know, just mm-hmm. you start to learn it. And there's there's fish in there <laughs> for sure. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, just to confirm, guys, and we'll share that one more time on our page when we get done this evening uh, leading up to Saturday. But it's this coming Saturday. October 27th, uh, it's Alify Marine Kids Fishing Derby. Mm-hmm. They're going to be running from 9 to 4 p.m. Um, and then we have the uh, – I'll let you guys talk about this one. This is the one that Frank keeps telling us yeah, about. Yeah, our, good, our good buddy Frank Leto, um, he's putting together a, f- um, a slam tournament for a local firefighter in need. Uh, it's Fishing for Ryan Slam Tournament. Uh, captain's meeting is November 2nd, and the tournament day is November 3rd. Uh, it's 200 a uh, boat, $100 kayak division. Um, it's a really good event for a good cause. Yeah. Uh, you know, I definitely, yeah. if, you, if you don't got I any, mean, 200 bucks. Yeah, it's for, pretty. It's, it's somebody that was boat, injured. It's for an yeah. awesome cause it's because there's a, a guy, cause, there's a firefighter yeah. who was injured. Um, and, you know, he's dealing with a lot. And this is going to go a long way to support him. Um, I know that just from bouncing out of the dock, bouncing out of the store, a lot of people are talking yeah. about this event. Like, good. I know that there's going to be. You're going to have, if you're a competitive guy and yeah. you want to go have fun and do a tournament for yeah. a good cause, this is it. I mean, if I you're know, a person yeah. who could care less about catching fish and just want to be a part of a good Absolutely. cause, this is it. I've heard mm-hmm. both ends of the spectrum. And, yeah. um, you know, I'm like, I've told, I've been in contact with Frank. If I can make it, I'm going to make it. Yeah, so. I'm the same way. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Cool. But yeah, so look on Facebook. Uh, Frank Leto has been our point of contact. So if you can, reach out to him directly. But the name of the tournament is Fishing for Ryan. Um, the captain's meeting is November 2nd, 6 p.m. It's going to be out of Hula Bay, I believe. <laughs> yep. Um, and then the tournament is the next day, which is the Saturday, 8 a.m. start. Mm-hmm. $200 enter for your boat, $100 for your kayak. There you go. Good, Good deal. deal. Yeah. And you can put as many on the boat as you want. I don't know. I think it's three or four people. It seems like yeah, everyone here is talking those, about three or four usually people. Usually those slam tournaments are the, around there for well, that. I mean, I, I'm just – Saying yeah. if you got two people, you got four people. Oh yeah, yeah I'm sure that there's no issue if you have same less. cost. Same yeah. cost. Yeah. Yep. I think uh, it's just boat kayak. Mm-hmm. So right. however you can come up with it. Yeah, we'll get. Um, what I'll do is I'll reach out to Frank later on after the show, and I'll get some of the information and put it on the page because it's for a good cause. Yeah. So Absolutely. many, you know the yeah. the firefighters and their connection to the fishing industry here in Tampa is it's good. Is yeah. awesome. I mean they're they're a big part of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, whether you like it or not, I don't see how you wouldn't, but. They're always stand-up guys. I I feel better knowing that they're out there. To be honest with you, having so many, and I know they're going to come out in gr- droves for this. So, 
Absolutely. We definitely want to support it. So that is the next two Saturdays, and then three Saturdays from now is the event here. Oh, yeah. Um, yep. So that's November 7th. I know we've kind of talked about it the last couple of weeks. Um, I just shared some stuff on my Facebook last night about it. But if you follow the Tampa Fishing Outfitter store page, there's a lot of information there, Should too. There, yeah. I saw it um, posted today. So Yeah, so bit, there's yeah. a lot going on, man. It's going to be a lot less of like an instructional mm -hmm. event. I mean, there's going to be instru instruction, and we're all going to be there. I know you guys are coming out Definitely. for it. Yeah, we'll We've got Jason Travis that will be back. We've got guys from the fly industry, guys from the bass industry, um, or – styles of fishing they're all going to be they're all going to be here uh just kind of talking fishing and talking whatever subjects anybody wants to talk about um but it is also going to be for a good cause yeah. um we're trying to raise some some funds uh specifically we'll take donations of any kind but funds specifically yeah, mm -hmm. you, you so we're, they're going to be looking tampa fishing outfitters they want to do we've already done a supply drive okay we actually sent one of our drivers up there collected from all three stores and already took it up to uh awesome. Panama City, lots of water, lots of gas can You know, all the stuff you yeah. need that you're just not prepared for. That's already made its way up there. I think what we, by the time this event goes on November 7th, there's a lot of things you don't think about after the fact that get impacted, especially if you're in the fishing industry up there. You're hurting yeah, yep. real bad right now, and I think that's the direction we want to try and support those guys okay. with funds because there's so much support out there. want to try and do something that's a little more related to the industry. So yeah. uh, we've looked into some... The IGFA has got some good connections with mm -hmm. uh, WARF, which is the Worldwide Anglers Relief Fund, which, uh, um, after events like this, tries to support directly those who are in the fishing industry one way or another um, and try to get them back out of that's the water. That's awesome. Try to get their yeah, that's awesome, doors man. back open. It's, so, it's such challenging because it just ruins tourism yeah. in the area, and, you know, it's just they're lacking it. Man. Yeah. So anything could help. So that's awesome. What, uh, one thing I know, one thing they have on the horizon, though, is – the boom that comes after that and mm -hmm. i know it's difficult right now i can't you know i couldn't even imagine trying to get through that but what a lot of people i've been talking to about it that are in other industries that mm -hmm. are in like um construction or whatever they're going to see a big boom and that boom is going to be th those dollars are going to get spent so those guys in the fishing industry and the other industries i think that you know it's going to be very difficult the next year or so but once that thing starts getting rebuilt and everything's back on its feet um I expect it to bounce back better than ever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. So that's what we're going to try and position our uh, donations towards. Um, since it's going to be over a month after the event, um, that doesn't mean there's not like a need. Yeah. But some of those supplies and things I think will be – The initial Hopefully you'll yeah. be en route and I'll be covered, yeah. and we can start narrowing those efforts down. But Well, it ought to be a, a place, too, where you can call and actually see what they, what they need. Yeah. Because I know years ago, in what was it, 2004, when Charlie went across Punta Gorda mm – -hmm. A couple friends and I went down there for two days and just went down to help with the Red Cross. Yeah. And, you know, there was there was literally a truckload of water. Mm. They didn't need no more water. No more yeah. water, right. You know, mm -hmm. find out what they need. Yeah. And, yeah. and try, you know, there was, point. there was, there was things they needed, but you water wasn't one it. of them. Yeah. And, uh. You know, try to maybe just, I don't know who you would find that out from. Yeah. I don't well, we'll have avenues. There's we'll be able to get in contact. But, uh, There'll be you know, but find out and, and send them what they need. I mean, I'm sure, I'm, and, and nobody thinks of this, but I'm sure, like, families with kids. I mean, like diapers, diapers. And oh, yeah. formula, formula. That kind of thing yeah. would probably be, like, yeah. gold down there. That's what somebody was telling Something us most the other day is, yeah. you know, you don't really think about that. You tend mm -hmm. to send water, gas cans, right. tarps, yeah. chainsaws. Yeah. And there's kids there's right. other yeah. stuff I'm, I'm sure toy i mean uh, you know could Something, make up somebody yeah. but stay Let's tuned guys on our page because we'll continue to kind of provide more details as we get closer to that date it's still a ways out it's november yeah, 7th november so there's 7th. time to get it figured out and get it dialed in just know that that's where that's where our, our focus is going to be yeah. for this event um, be a good event though not like a standard you know seminar just hang out exactly talk fishing and yeah you know, I talked to the I talked to the people that run that Sims uh, barbecue and seafood food yeah. truck that's coming out. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to be trying some mullet that night. Was it you that was telling me I, I had to try mullet? Yeah, I had mullet yeah. Monday. It's great. Last week I was arguing. Yeah. I was like, I don't know if I can do mullet. I've only had spread. So it's called Sims uh, barbecue and seafood. They have and a food they're truck. bringing oh, mullet. They're going to have on their so they're going to use. They told me they're going to do their regular menu available for anybody, and it's got smoked mullet. 
It's got fried mullet. It's got mullet, smoked mullet, fish All spread. Right, I'm That's game. Awesome. It's, you, and then they're barbecue. Had I've had spread. Yeah. I haven't had mullet just like. See, I haven't you? had spread. Yeah. You eat mullet? Oh, spread. oh, spread's delicious, right. especially they smoke it. Smoke mullet. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, in the, in the dip. Okay. I, I don't really. Uh, does the dip <laughs> even count? I don't know if yeah, it does. It counts. I mean, okay. it's like, it's like it's half credit. Yeah. I mean, I've yeah. had the Ruskin side of the road smoke mullet. Dude, man, I'm going to tell you, Monday. Ruskin mullet? I was messing around Monday, and there was mullet out there, and I Called my buddy. I said, "Hey, y'all want to come over for supper tonight?" Uh-huh. <laughs> or I called my wife first. Yeah, like, yeah. do you care if we have a little fish fry? And she's, uh, she's all with it. Uh, and uh, so, anyway, good. I called six big fatties and uh, fried them up Monday night. Had, had some yellow row. That's when you're. That's when you're like know. legit. When you, yeah, when you I'm go not gonna be there that soon. Yeah, all oh, right, man. I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm not gonna be there that soon. I'm down to try anything. So uh, I think, you know, try just, everything once. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I'm all I'm all game for it. But they've got a mean barbecue. So what I've had, for, you know, their barbecue is what drew me to the oh, calling those man, guys. If they, if they got good barbecue, yeah, barbecue mullet's good. Yeah. Barbecue mullet. Hey, They're, I'm down for it. I'll um, try. It. But they're gonna be cooking it up. <laughs> um, we got Joy. She's already, you know, she's bringing through the keg. We're gonna have a keg set up, so there's gonna be some some beer on beer here. Get other here beverages. Uh, yeah. So six to nine p.m. Get, get here early. Probably gonna be floating before long. Yeah. If I know, if smoke I know. mullet, fried uh. mullet, spread mullet. Hell, he was calling you Bubba Gump. Me and you, yeah. <laughs> Me and you, James. Uh. <laughs> Absolutely. But uh, it's gonna be a good time. Um, well, the coolest crazy. thing I'm looking forward to, though, at this is the last one, the last event yeah. that we had similar to this. There was a. Uh, Bass flipping thing set up, and bass I don't really bass fish, bait fishing, but I like to bass flip into <laughs> buckets and sounds, stuff. Sounds so cool. I'm gonna be joy. We're not doing keg stands. <laughs> 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 we saw that easy, easy Frank the tank. Yeah, take it easy, Joy. <laughs> <laughs> we got a store to run, yeah. but um, but that bass flipping man, I'm addicted to that. Like, cool. we, so they set it up where you know there's like four different buckets, and they get further and smaller. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like ski ball at Chuck E. Cheese or yeah. something, yeah. where you can go for the easy one, Fisherman but the further ones went out there. So that's gonna have me going. Um, there's gonna be a cast net competition with a humpback we're giving away. Now, Good so it's, it's gonna be with a bait caster. It's gonna be with a bait cap. Okay, you gotta yeah, flip. I'm you gotta. Out. You gotta flip. Oh, you gotta try it. You gotta try it. Well, you can do it with a spinning. Yeah. You can do it with a spinning if you want to try it. Yeah. But uh, we got a couple reels from thirteen. We're gonna give away uh, uh, nice. for the contest. Oh, boy blue. Um, skinny talking, water culture. You've been talking to Travis Ken. Ken. Yeah. <laughs> Ken picked up on that. Yeah. yeah. Here, boy, please. Um, skinny water culture. They've already. You know those guys never hesitate to get involved. Yeah. I mean, they're, the they're day great, after, man. they were all already all about it, yeah. and. Um, we're talking to Bruce. Uh, I've seen seen Vince around. Um, I know Bruce is going to come on their behalf, yeah. and uh, he's supposed to be bringing some giveaway stuff. So we're going to have a way for people to donate to receive a ticket for raffles. Okay. Um, okay. You know, so that's cool. Bull Bay yeah. is going to be here. I know. I know Dustin's going to be here, um, or be sending somebody. But the one cool thing they're going to do when they're here is not just your typical. I'm going to be here talking about my product. They're going to talk about some rod building behind the scenes components things like that um we're now at a position right now where i don't think there's a rod they make we don't have in tampa fishing outfitters so anything they need to show off they can but i think they're going to do a rod giveaway as well um so with all these local companies just kind of stepping up and, and coming to the yeah. table it's been it's been a good feeling um it's going to be a good event so if you can make it out that's november 7th mm-hmm. um we're going to keep the shop open in addition to all the funds that are raised uh through donations um, for raffle tickets, we're also going to be doing 10% of whatever's sold uh, that night is going to go uh, yeah, in awesome. way of a cash donation. Awesome. Right, right. And also, we got uh, another event coming up is the uh, that's the Florida week. Guides. Yeah, that's, that's mm-hmm. the, yeah. Is that the 13th. Yep. I think it's the 13th. Um, Jason, if you're on, if you're still watching, let us know if that's the 13th. I want to say it's, yeah. it is the 13th. I know it's a Hula Bay. For one. Yeah, it's a Hula Bay. It's I think it is the 13th. But it's it's for Friday. anybody. You don't have to be a guide. Yeah. Uh, anybody come? It's uh, Tuesday. A, it's Tuesday the 13th. It'll be, it'll be a good. Okay, yep. It. yep. It'll be a good time. Good, yeah. Good fun. Uh, From what I understand, it's going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of new announcements on behalf of the Florida guides. But he, we've been stressing that it is not just guides. No. This is anybody no. yeah. who just has a general interest in, in the, the fishing fish. industry. Yep. This is the pl- this is going to be a place to be. Um, so I know I'm going to be there. You going? I'm going to be there. What's going on with that? Uh, don't worry about all that. Don't worry about that? Yeah, all don't right. worry about all that. <laughs> That's just like updates. Okay. On a, We're updating. These computers. 
you know, they update once in a while. Really? And when you turn them on and off, <laughs> okay. sometimes you got to sit right. through the spinning right. wheel. Someone might be hacking the show. Yeah. That's security. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Issues are found. There you go. All right. All right. But, um, so, yeah, that's the 13th. I know it's a Tuesday. I've already committed to going. Hopefully we'll see yeah, you guys Yeah, we'll there. be there. Good for deal. Sure. All right, cool. So, um, like I said, we're running commercial free tonight because Keep it rolling. Rick nor I are <laughs> yeah. have ever done this on our own before. Um, and we got a good thing going, so we're going to let it run live. We're going to kind of go straight into some products, and um, none of the products that we're going to talk about tonight are really new, mm -hmm. but they're just like we were kind of – be perfectly transparent with the audience. We were kind of figuring out how to run the show, and then we had like the one minute to go down and pick <laughs> some crap out to, to talk about. Yeah. So we kind of just grabbed what we've been using lately. Yeah. Um, Rick, I'm going to start with you because you're like – Swear hey, where are those rod Dude. holder, cup holder, yes. robo things? Robo. These things are legit, man. <laughs> Super legit. Robo cup. Yeah. They, I, all I can say is they're legit. They're right <laughs> I'm going to have to try one of those. Yeah. 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 I'm telling you, they, they just go, you can, I mean, anything that that'll fit around, it'll. it'll Don't stick your hand in there. Yeah. It's, 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 it's yeah. a pretty strong uh, But I, uh, I got mine right up on the bar that goes around the center console. And when I first put it up there, honestly, I didn't think. You didn't think it'd stay. I think, well, I knew it would stay until I got into a chop. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I said, nah, this thing's. This thing's going to go. It's gone. <laughs> Dude, it hasn't even budged. Yeah. <laughs> it won't. hasn't even budged. They got different colors. I just brought the gator colors up because it's good to be a winner. <laughs> and, uh, uh, so does it so rotate or just. Kind no, of it's thick it's like that. You probably you could, could if you put enough pressure on it to get it to rotate. No. But it's it's got some. It's got oh, okay. some grip no, in there. Yeah. you could get it to. You could. You could get it well, to turn. I see some kind of oh, I think he's talking about rotate. Like if it's on there, can we turn them that way? Oh yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, once it's on there, yeah. it's on there. Yeah, you don't want to move um, really. You don't want it to. Where move. I found this to be most handy. So I've been using this a long time. The rep came in a while back and was like, "Hey, try this." I'm like, this thing looks like a piece of junk, right? <laughs> but what I was trying to solve for is in my skeeter, I don't have any forward rod holders. Mm -hmm. So like, let's say I'm cut baiting. Yep. And the wind's behind well, my both, back, and I'm throwing, way, boom, yeah. boom. I'm trying to throw yeah. baits out dead ahead. What I can do is on the iPilot, put this on the shaft of the iPilot, hold two rods. Because these, the way this works, oh, so it's cool. a cup holder right now, I but down know. here you have these. They twist off. Twist. Yeah, twist off. So now it's, you know, wide open. You can see me right through there. Hello. And you can stick your rod in there. Hello. And for a spinning rod, <laughs> it's, got the, <laughs> it's got the exact... <laughs> Uh, cut out nice. for you know holding a rod. Gonna be now, a wise guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so what? What everyone always says is when we're fishing for like those big redfish, yeah. cut baiting. Cut they're like, bait. is it gonna hold? And I was like, well, there's only one way to find out. Yeah. I've had two fish on. Okay. On on this, you know. Yeah. Over 30 inch reds, and it hasn't been able to pull it off the trolling yeah. motor. It's like the perfect diameter yeah. too, but you can feel when you I play with it. I think that it's stacked. Yeah. It, so know, that's where you put it on the trolling motor. Off. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty strong. You put it on yeah. the trolling motor. I put it on the trolling motor, and believe it or not, there I forget that it's there, and I'll put the trolling motor back and Stowed, ride yeah. with it, stowed like that for days at a time, because I just forget about it. The only time I go that's to take it idea. off is I take it off because the when I'm netting bait off the front of the boat, right. I don't want to snag the net. That's the only time it comes off the trolling motor. Or you realize your drink won't stay. Yeah, my drink won't <laughs> stay, but it, it is an epic. Like, down. When I'm scouting, you know, like say you want right. to go out and you want to have a cold drink yeah. right there on your trolling motor, you're just yeah, pretty nice. Bing? And it's First got a so three alarm sold. Yeah. Twenty my bucks, boat, man. I'm telling you, the same way. You know? Twenty bucks for twenty bucks. That's oh, you yeah. have the same challenge. I, say, like, I don't yeah. have any front rod holder, so yeah, yeah it's. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you, twenty dollar holler. You know, that's, yeah. that'll do it. <laughs> All right, what did you pick out, Chris? Oh uh, well, I got this nice Cypress Hills bottle. <laughs> uh, it I is. Don't it's leave good. the boat ramp without a couple. I don't. I really don't. I don't. <laughs> it is good. Well, well, we have the cleanse oil here. Um, you know, they sell this in, in three different sizes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, most of the stuff that I use for this, I got Florida fishing, uh, reels. Yeah. And they're, they're pretty big on, on spraying them. They down. come with them, right? Yeah. yeah. They, They'll they give you the little, 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 little sample size, little sample yeah. size ones. Yep. But so, yeah. you know, they keep them really smooth. I spray it on the outside. I spray it on the inside. Mm -hmm. Um, and they've held up pretty good now yeah. I had them for a year haven't had any issues what yeah. i've uh what i've used it i mean it, it can work on anything any gear yeah. you know stuff where corrosion kind of congregates you know even like your crank your crankshaft on your trailer yeah um but what i re reused it on last week i had a client recently wrap line in my trolling motor prop and i don't know if anybody else had that issue but it could be really hard to get that prop off mm -hmm. even when you take the nut mm -hmm. screw off mm -hmm. um and i had to let it soak so i let it soak for an hour put the head of the prop up and let it soak in there right. yeah. 
went out there, banged it twice with the uh, like a rubber hammer, popped right off. Popped right yeah. off, yeah. And it's amazing, and then you know you could just oil it down. We've got a lot of those off. same stories, so I know that in the shop in Tampa Fishing Outfitters they use it. You know, we get people that come in with reels that need they want line on. They probably haven't had a line on them in 30 years. <laughs> that spool's not coming off. The spool's not coming off. <laughs> the grit, exactly. the, uh, yeah. it won't release from the um, right. the, from the, the real seat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I've seen that stuff get sprayed on. Wow. Y'all need like a 55-gallon drum you can just do. Right. <laughs> yeah. In a Please, go sit out there with a new Right. Out, yeah. But I've, and then on, on certain reels, like somebody will come in, they'll want to get it spooled, and this reel is three years old and it's never been sprayed with fresh water mm-hmm. once. Oh. And it's supposed to be one color, but all it is is orange inside because of all the rest. Yeah, I've sprayed or dabbed, and I've seen the guys do it downstairs. Put some of that inside a reel, like at any access point you can, mm-hmm. and it's actually so whatever against rust that the rust will start bubbling yeah. out. It's huh. pretty cool looking. Any, uh, to any see. areas that just like I said, it's yeah. that corrosion. I mean, we, yeah. we use it on our pliers. You know, when your pliers get old, yeah. mm-hmm. those metal ones. That's they, one thing I use it for too. They were great, man. Last week, I, uh, or a couple weeks ago, I brought in my reels to get them all relined. And um, while I was doing that, actually because my boat had to go in for mm-hmm. for something. And so I was like, let me pull all my gear off and I'll uh, bring it in and reline it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, shoot, well, while I'm at it, let me put some of that in there. And, um, you know, these are charter reels that have been used. They're my second set. So they've been used about 15, 16 months. Mm-hmm. And all they do is get sprayed off. And left in the yeah. rod holders, put it home, and then we go out the next day. I took the side plates off and sprayed some of that in there. And, like, some were rough and some were good, mm-hmm. you know, but those rough ones, one spray of that on the inside to kind of just get them feeling right again, blown well, away. Like it's a good product. Yeah. 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 Feels like Neo. Works yeah. really well. Yeah. Yeah. But where, where, where I keep it at home and I use it every day is really in and around the boat, um, uh, especially places that see corrosion. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm trying to keep the boat in as good a shape as yeah. I can for resale. Yeah. And on um, hydraulic hose fittings for the power pole, uh, jack mm-hmm. areas around the jack yeah. plate, yeah. Um, you know, you name it, all around the trailer. Like, those are the parts where yeah. that's where I was drawn to that product. Um, and it just works so well. Yeah. You know, yeah. just it really does. They even came out with uh, – we don't have it right now, um, and we might even be sold out at the store, but they have – um, wipes now, and I keep those on the boat huh. in case I see something that I need to get to right then. Mm-hmm. I can pull out a wipe and boom, and it's clean. I can just throw it in the garbage, and it's good to go. But works really good. Like if I want to get in on the tower, like all the stainless mm-hmm. and all that. Like if I see anything, so that's where I use it. Awesome. Um, oh, we need to get you some of that for your trolling motor, <laughs> dude. I got a box of that stuff. Oh, you do? Yeah. I took the guy fishing. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Good deal. You're good to know. Right? Okay. I just want to know. They're yeah. local. Yeah. They're local. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, those are the products we brought up. We also, what was it? A couple of weeks ago, somebody was commenting on a hat that I had up here. Uh-huh. We got tons of hats at Tampa yeah. Fishing Outfitters. I <laughs> mean, these hats are, here. We do. They do. Yeah. Hats. There are probably at any given time 15, 16, 17 different styles of. Tampa Fishing Outfitters hats. Yeah, yeah, they've come a long way. I remember when you first started, you had a few colors, but yeah. now it's just like yeah. a lot of colors. Like a hat shop. It's like they an obsession. Yeah. yeah, it's like with you guys and yeah. in short society hats. You I got more can't just hats. get one color. I got yeah. more hats yeah. than I know what to do with. My wife just wants to get rid of half of them. I know. Yeah. So they take up a lot of space. Get rid of yeah. half your shoes yeah. if you yeah. get rid of half your hats. That's the deal right <laughs> there. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, that's the showstopper. Yeah. Yeah. She won't ever complain about your hats again. No, man. I've probably at any given time got 15 hats in the truck. Several around the f- anywhere than five feet of when I open my yeah. front front door, and then my closet. I got more hats than probably shirts right now <laughs> in there, but um, there's a whole wide range. So if you guys can get in to check those out, by all means do it. Um, yeah. Ken, I got to get you one of those, brother. You just got to give me a call and <laughs> tell me where it needs to go, or when you come up on November seventh, get you one of those then. What's, but, what's the one on the end called? What's the quarterback? Oh, the uh, Fitzpatrick. Well, Fitzpatrick. oh, well, that's how the hats oh, got yeah. kind of famous. Yeah. That's yeah. The is because we had Ryan there. Fitzpatrick yeah. sporting our uh, hats thing? all over. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's them. my hat. That the Ryan Fitzpatrick is the all black. Oh, okay. oh I like, thought it was. He camo. likes the murdered out. No, his is all black. Even though when he was on the interview, that was black. All black. Oh, yeah. Okay, I yeah, thought all it was black. Camo. Yeah. My bad. All black. In fact, like the only interview he didn't do it with was like that one where he was wearing the Deshaun Jackson outfit. That yeah. was the only time he didn't wear that hat, well, he got, and that was last, last year was his first season. I thought didn't he wear one? He last wore one, year? yeah. Yeah, he comes the, to the shop. The yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah. He's a down to earth guy, man. Yeah, likes he the he kayak likes the fish. fish. Yeah, he's a. Uh, 
a he's lot a of good looks. Dude. I'll be honest with you. I didn't recognize him, and this was when he came in a couple years ago, like right when he signed with the team. He came in and was talking fish, and I got stuck with him. Oh, oh, dude, you know, you're new to the area. Here, let me set you all up. You know, here's the baits you need to use. Oh, where are you staying at? Oh, there. Well, you go around this corner. The whole deal. And then he comes back in a few days later. He's like, dude, tore him up. I was oh, like, nice. yeah, I figured. And Good then deal. somebody said, I think it was Hap, was like, dude, that's Ryan Fitzpatrick. I was like, the quarterback? The Jets? <laughs> it's the and he's like, no, they bucks. Kind of, and dude, I was I like, oh, all right. Homeless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so he was all about it. He's been, been back ever since. But, um, cool. I think that's it for the show tonight, guys. I, d- I definitely want to thank you guys for oh, coming yeah, out, no man. Thanks for Why don't you hook, um, yeah. hook everybody up? If they want to book a trip with you, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Give out phone numbers. Give out websites. Yeah, yeah just check out. I mean, you're on Facebook now. You could hit that search bar, hit Inshore Society. Check us out there. Um, our website, same thing. All our ta- all our social media is Inshore Society. Yeah. InshoreSociety.com. Uh, our our number, number's school? on yeah. there. Just give us a call at 813-609-0910. Easy right. enough. <laughs> Yeah, I'll definitely vouch for these guys. Um, I wanted to bring them on. I told yeah, you. Uh, they'll they'll in be a, here for the event. So. They'll be here for yeah, the event. But definitely. I consider my network to be pretty small yeah, nice up there. Hit. And, um, you know, I appreciate all you guys do keeping Absolutely, me in the loop man. and vice versa. So We're all out there to help each other. Yeah, yeah. thanks for, for coming part, on the yeah. show. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Rick, if they want to book with you. Call James. <laughs> no, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Call 813 813-601-2900. <laughs> Don't have a website, so don't don't. What please. real simple, right? Real simple. Real simple. Real simple. Fishing real simple adventures. Fishing adventures. See, I like that we have that yeah. in common. The fishing got, adventures. Yeah, yeah. The adventure part. But I got I got rid See, of man, the. See, man, your uh, bromance. Yeah. Yeah. You need to do the iFan. Yeah, and sometimes it is <laughs> truly an adventure. <laughs> yes, that's the best part. A charter can, you know, yeah. there's a lot of guys offering I charters. I take you to yeah. death's door and bring you back. Yeah. <laughs> that's the selling point. There yeah. you go. And if you guys ever Slogan. want to book a trip with me, it's uh, 813-625-2067, and that's Local Knowledge Fishing Adventures, Facebook, uh, localknowledgefishing.com if you want to get online. Um, but either way, any of us can take you out. You've also got Jason and Travis that can always do that too. Okay. They're real easy to find. We've got – um. Travis is fish by instinct. Jason is steady action. Steady action, steady action, baby. He just got the window done, did I see, in the back of his truck. I, I think know. he got the window done, so you're going to see him around and around. But all of you guys out there, thanks for watching. We certainly appreciate it. We wouldn't even do this if it wasn't for you guys. Mm-hmm. If you want to help us out, give us a share. Uh, put it out there. Help us get out there more in the fishing community. But um, until next uh, next time, next which time. is not next Wednesday because it's Halloween, right? So we're doing either Tuesday. Yeah, so I think we bumped it to Thursday, but either way, you follow the page, you're going to get the updates. We're we're changing gears. We're not going to do it on Wednesday. Okay. I got to trick or treat my kids, dude. Hopefully, Tuesday. I can't be here Wednesday or Thursday. Good deal. But uh, until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in. Out. We'll see you.